Chizayan, Revelation 1. The revelation of Yahusha HaMashiach, which Yahuwah gave unto him to show eth unto his servants, things eth which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, Yahuchanan, who bore record of the word of Yahuwah and of the testimony of Yahusha HaMashiach and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that reads and they that hear the words of this prophecy and guard at those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Yahuchanan to the seven called out assemblies which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is and was and which is to come, and from the seven Ruachoth which are before his throne, and from Eth Yahusha HaMashiach, who is the faithful witness, and the firstborn of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto Yahweh and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he comes with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. I am the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, says Yahweh, Elohim, which is and which was and which is to come. Yahweh Sevaoth. I, Yahuchanan, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Yahuwah Shah Mahamashiach, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of Yahuwah and for the testimony of Yahusha HaMashiach. I was in the Ruach on the day of Yahuwah and heard behind me a great voice as of a shofar saying, I am the Aleph and the Tav, the first and the last, and what you see write in a sefer, and send it unto the seven called out assemblies, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamus, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea, and I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden menorahs. And in the midst of the seven menorahs, one like unto the son of Adam, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the chest with a golden belt. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shines in his strength, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of Sheol and of death. Write the things at which you have seen, and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, 
which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden menorah. The seven stars are the angels of the seven called out assemblies, and the seven monodoth, rather, monodoth, which you saw, are the seven called out assemblies.